As Tucker inbounds. They were five of nine, Tucker was from the line. Shot's good. For Tucker. And that gives the Tigers a 43-42 lead. Ball's tied up underneath. There's a scrum. Kal Kalina comes up with it. Here's Krut. He puts up a launcher. Glances off the front edge. Gets the rebound. Now efforting his jelks. They keep trying long balls. And we got to travel. Underneath. That'll turn the ball to Tucker with 7.20 to go. I'm sorry, North Carolina Christian is going to get it. North Carolina Christian, if, I'm, if these numbers are right, they were two of six from the line in the, three, in the third quarter. Burtz puts one up, no good. Now Phillips dives in, and he's fouled. And it's going to go against Keyshawn Butts, his fourth, and he'll have to come out. 7.09 remaining. And here's Shambari Phillips. Shooting. Some foul shots, and that first one goes. He has 10 points. And he's got one more. Second one is up, and good. That gives... Unaware, loses the handle as he goes out of bounds. And it's Tucker basketball. Tigers will be in action here Monday against North Gwinnett. Driving is, is Dunmire, no good. Rebound to North Cobb Christian. They want to find Crude. There he is from the right side, dances across. But a good job with the lay-in by Stefan Jelks. He's got 11. And it's a one-point game, 45-44. to 44. North Cobb Christian will be playing the first game on Monday against Sequoia. And then there will also be action the second game on Tuesday against Collins Hill. Nice tip by Crute on behind as Meadows drove in. Now Crute will try to coast it. Good! And he'll get the contact. Kendall Crute with 17 points now. Count the basket. Foul on Parker, Parker his second. second 6.20 to go. Kendall Crute do a conversion. 46-45, and he drops it home. Kendall Crute with 18 points, proving that he's uh, one of the top players on this team. 47-45, Eagles back on top with 6.10 remaining. Good crisp passing for the Tigers on the perimeter. That's what they've done the whole game. Now they go inside, looking for Thomas. Back to the outside, and Drano from Dunmire. Dunmire with 10 points. That makes it 48-47. 5.50 remaining. Tigers on top. They're 1-0 on the year. This is Rakov Christian's lid lifter. Ware into the corner for Twine. And that's a dribble. Uh, travel by Hunter Ware. Ball will be inbounded right by Greg Mata. And it's Tucker's basketball. Up by a single point. I believe three has been their largest lead of the afternoon. Dunmire. Is he feeling it? He is. Dunmire with 13 points. That stretches the lead to four. 51 47, 520 remaining. Dunmire with two huge three balls in this quarter. Wears probes the defense. He'll back it out. Finds a cutting twine. Twine kicks it back out. And that's drain off from Stefan Jelks. He's got 14. Timeout on the court with 5.04 to go. It's a 30, 51, 50, Tucker on top. We'll be right back.
John Morgo here, 5.04 on the clock. It's a one-point ball game. Tucker Tigers on top of the North Cobb Christian Eagles, 51-50. to We've had a couple of great performances. John Dunmire is starting to light up the nets. He's just hit two consecutive three-pointers, and he's got 13 points. Still half off his... Uh, his pace from the Luella game, but it's enabled Tucker to take the lead, but we still got anybody's basket. This is still anybody's basketball game heading into its final stages. Phillips with it now. Phillips gets around Kalina, and it just rolls off of his finger, and I believe they're going to get the lack of player control. Yep. It just rolled off of his fingers. He just didn't have control of it as he drove in. That is his third personal for Shambari Phillips. Nobody with, uh, well, Keyshawn Butts, the only player with four personals in this ball game. 4.44 to go. The Eagles from North Cobb Christian. They're located in Ackworth. Here's Twine. Over to Kalina. The, the big guy gets it to Crute, and Crute's shot goes across the rim. Let's see if that was a foul or an out-of-bounds play. I think it's going to be out-of-bounds. Tucker takes over. Fifty-one, fifty is your score. Tucker's put ten points down this quarter. North Cobb Christian with eight. They have the lead, trying to go 2-0 in this young season. Tucker dribbling around. They're going to work a little clock here. Phillips. Phillips, he's guarded by Crute. They looks like they want to run a screen. Now that fighting through it is Kendall Crute. Good job. He almost gets the steal. Dunmar gets the pass. Almost stolen by Hunter Ware. Now he'll drive over the double team. Good. Oh, but they're going to get him for the lack of player control. Hunter Ware picks up his fourth on the lack of player control. And North Cobb Christians fired up. North Cobb Christian definitely fired up here. That is going to be the fourth foul against Dunmire. So he's in deep foul trouble. Nice move by Kendall Crude. He's got 20. That gives the Eagles the lead with 3.30 remaining. Parker with it. 52-51, a very tight ball game between two evenly matched foes. There may be different classifications, but on the hardwood, everybody is equal. Tucker is going to call a full timeout with 3.16 remaining. And it's a full one, but we'll keep it here. North Cobb Christian on top by a score of 52-51. I believe Tucker has 130 and one full left in their timeout bank. As for North Cobb, I believe they have both of their fulls remaining and one of their 30s. Again, right after this one's over, we'll be back in about oh, 15 minutes or so for game number two of today's quadruple header. It'll be the Bobcats from Seneca, South Carolina taking on the Greater Atlanta Christian Spartans. GAC, another one of those hoops factories. They have won three state titles in four years in 2A. They have Eddie Martin, who's probably the most winningest coach in Gwinnett County history. He has had success where in all of his three stops. Brookwood, Norcross, he made a couple of state finals victories. And now here at Greater Atlanta Christian. So looking forward to that. Also looking forward to seeing Gwinnett Daily Post Super 6 selectee Isaiah Wilkins. Looking forward to that. And now we're back to live action. Here's the inbound play. Going to Parker. Parker. He'll go to Dunmire, who has 13 points but four fouls. He posts up from three at the top. Drino! Dunmire has had three straight three-pointers this quarter. Tucker takes a two-point edge, 54-52. We're under three to go. On the run, here's Crude off the give and go, and it's not stolen. Good steal by T.J. Thomas, who's played a stellar game in the middle. Parker, they're going to look for Dunmire. 
And Dunmire with 16 points right now. Dunmire is calling for the ball. Now Parker will give it to him with 2.35 remaining. Tucker up by two, trying to make it a two-possession ball game. They're going to work a lot of clock again. There is no shot clock here in the high school game. Probably one of the rules I would change. Not a, not a very ba bad shot clock. I'd make it like a 45 or maybe even a 50. But there should still be at least something from it here in the high school game. Here's Dunmire. Look up Christian. I can hear Greg Mata saying, don't foul. 207. A lot of motion offense being employed by the Tigers. Devontae Meadows with it. He's got three points. Meadows will give it back to uh, Parker. 154 remaining. You hear the you hear the crowd behind me. They're getting into this. Dunmire with it. Dunmire sees a lane. Dunmire takes it. Now he'll dish to TJ. TJ Thomas puts up the glass and good. A big bucket for TJ Thomas. 56-52. Thomas with 13 points. 135 to go. North Cobb Christian has to answer. Hunter Ware puts one from Long Ranger. It's no good. Now Butts is going to come back in. 126 to go. Tucker with the basketball. And we're going to have a, a timeout by Tucker. Another full. This should be their last full timeout. 56-52. Favor of the Tucker Tigers. Trying to uh, beat the quarterfinalists from classification 1A. The North Cobb Christian Eagles. Again, classification one has been split right down the middle between the public and the private school sides. That gives us seven state titleists in both the boys and the girls category when we converge on Macon in March. And that is looking like to be a long way off, but we're going to see some great basketball in the interim. And you're going to see some great basketball today here at the Jared Cluck Tip-Off tip Classic. Sponsored by, uh, with all proceeds benefiting Susan G. Komen Cure for Breast Cancer. After the Seneca Greerland and Christian game, we've got Buford and Mill Grove. That will take place at approximately 7 o'clock. And then at 8.30 or thereabouts, it'll be Effingham County against North Gwinnett. We have 121 on the clock. I believe Tucker will just has one timeout left in their 32nd. They inbound it to Dunmire. Looks like Ware hit the deck on the inbound play. Let's see when North Cobb starts the foul brigade. And it's still one, still two possession. If, Tuck, if uh, the Eagles can get a steal or force the Tigers to turn it over, they're still in this thing. Dunmire now, who's had a, a, an electric second half. 16 points, 14 and a half. Now they're just kind of playing keep away. We're under a minute, 54 seconds remaining. Looks like Jugs was trying to get a foul. Now there's a foul on Jonathan Twine, his third. 50 seconds remaining. Twine's going to take a moment to tie his shoe. It is 10th team foul for the Eagles, so they are going to be uh, shooting two for Tucker the rest of the way. And Dunmire will go to the line. Looks like Tucker, if this math is right, only has seven team fouls on their end. First shot's up. And good. That, ex that extends the lead to, to a nickel, which is the largest Tucker lead. North Cobb Christian had the lead throughout the second and third quarter. Tucker took the lead back here in the final quarter. An excellent quarter from Dunmire, and he makes both of them. Makes it six points, 58 to 52. See if Tucker employs Matador defense. Butts with it. The Eagles are going to have to work for a shot. They need a shot. Butts dishing and way open on that low post is Hunter Ware. And Ware gets five points. 36 seconds remaining. And North Cobb calls a 30 second timeout. 58-54, favor of the Tigers. I believe North Cobb Christian, and I know they have all their full timeouts left, and I believe they have one remaining of their 30s. 58-54, North Cobb Christian is ready to go. John Dunmar leads Tucker in scoring. He has 18 points. Again, we'll do a quick scoring, scoring recap and then take our break to go 
as we get ready for the next game, Seneca against Greater Atlanta Christian. Tipped out of bounds, Tucker keeps it, no time left off the clock, there's still 36.1. Now, they're trying to inbound it, trying to get it free. Twine gets a tip. It'll stay with Tucker. Eight tenths of a second went off the clock. Meadows is going to have to move from, from his baseline perch to the sideline to try and inbound it. Now they inbound it. They'll find Dunmire. Dunmire right in the corner. He spins around. Will he go to the lane? No. Now he's double teamed. Kicks out to Parker. Now they're trying to get that foul in, and Twine finally gets the foul. 28 seconds. Remaining eight seconds off the clock. Fourth personal. So Twine and Butts have one more to give. Going to the line, Josh Parker. Parker had nine points all in the first half. And that one kicks off. Kalina is going to come in. And then Twine will come on out. Well, if they miss, if uh, Parker misses this, Northcott's going to have to get that rebound. That's why Kalina's in to get the, to, to collect the loose ball. Second one is Drano. That gets Parker even 10. 59-54. We're under 25. They immediately go to Jelks, who launches one, but it's tipped, and Meadows comes down with it. And now Jelks will commit... A personal, and he's got four on his end. 20 seconds to go. And it's going to send Devontae Meadows to the line. The Meadows has three points. We have 20 seconds to go. Again, it's two shots the rest of the way. So it looks like North Cobb Christian will drop their first game of the year. And they'll be in action Monday. Taking on Sequoia from Cherokee County. Meadows will make that one. He's got four. As for, the, as for uh, Tucker, they'll be in action on Monday against North Gwinnett. That one's good. Tucker calls the timeout. 61-54. It's only a 30 because that's all they got left. So Tucker will uh, win their second straight ball game. Go to 2-0 on the year. More than likely it's five points that North Cobb Christian has to make up. And again we'll have Seneca, South Carolina against Greater Atlanta Christian about 10 minutes or 15 minutes after this one concludes. Well, looking over the points, if this doesn't change for Tucker, Dunmire will come will come away with 18 after 28 on against Luella. Looks like T.J. Thomas will have 13. Shabari Phillips with 11. Josh Parker will have 10. Devontae Meadows has five. Khalil Assing with four. And I'll give you uh, the results from North Cobb Christian in a moment. 61-54. I think Tucker is out of timeouts. Where with it. Ware, you're going to have to get a shot up quick. Ware finds Crude. He'll launch it, and it's off the edge. Meadows had the rebound, but he loses it now. Seven seconds. They're trying to dish into Kalina. Kalina trying to turn around, trying to get it. No, there's a cutting. Cutting jelts, no good, and Tucker will get the loose ball, and that's going to do it for your ball game. Tucker wins this one by a final score of 61-54. I gave you Tucker's totals, but Kendall Crude had 20. Great game for him. Hunter Ware with five. Keyshawn Butts with three, Jonathan Twine with eight, Stefan Jelks with 14, and Trey Kalina with four. I'm John Morgo for the entire crew at the Sports Utility Vehicle.tv. We're going to take a little bit of a timeout, and we'll be back in 15 with Greater Atlanta Christian and Seneca. Hope you can join us on the Sports Utility Vehicle.tv, powered by GHSA and the NFHS Network. We'll be right back. 